What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are back with a little discussion of it on Shevchenko, right? So a lot of people are asking me, this is a highly requested video from Shevchenko. Now, we've already done the breakdown and the review of him. We will see later on in the live stream whether we will get a spin. But genuinely, since Shevchenko was announced, people have been asking me to talk about his potential. Now we know exactly his card. So I've already covered all his, his main points and kind of reviewed this card. Um, just based on the surface of it and where the gameplay is at at the moment. There's a lot of changes to the gameplay, so be careful when you're training this guy up. Make sure and check out the video and keep it subscribed as well if you want to keep up to date with the latest eFootball news and updates, two videos a day, daily minimum. So let's crack on with it, right? This is a goal poacher. Now, what does a goal poacher mean? Well, we're actually going to go in and show you and do a bit of a breakdown on this as well. So this, so this here is from the main menu settings right and it talks about different play styles you're able to go in and check different play style skills everything and it, it's a definition of everything that in the game okay it's kind of like an encyclopedia i suppose you could say goal poacher is described as a predatory striker who plays off the shoulder of the last defender so he's looking to constantly break that line different than a fox in a box right a fox in a box is going to be a striker who lurks in the opposition 18 year box just waiting for the ball so if you notice that your play style and your build-up play um, is kind of very fast paced, I would say goal poacher is probably the way to go because you can go from literally standing still to winning the ball on a counter attack and then your striker is just going to make darting runs forward. Sometimes he'll be offside but they've kind of switched it up a little bit now that it's a little easier to actually understand the runs and I would say that they've streamlined those runs the higher at a player's offensive awareness is, right? So that brings us back to Shevchenko here. So, so Shevchenko as an actual goal poacher here is very interesting because his balance is so low i've already covered this on the review check it out if you haven't already we talk about it in depth but i've already covered it but i will touch on it here because he's a goal poacher right he does have this booster that is going to boost up his stamina his balance his speed and acceleration so for me with shevchenko i'm not putting counter target on him i'm literally just letting his um ai kind of control itself right but the thing i don't like about shevchenko is the fact that he doesn't have any passing skills or anything like that to bring others into the game which isn't a big concern depending on how you play but he also is just feeling a little bit with that balance he's going to feel when he gets the ball the dribbling lack of balance and dribbling is going to be an issue when he's trying to make those runs now fox in the box probably would have suited him better even a target man i would say would have suited him better but then shevchenko wasn't really that type of player he, he was a goal poacher looking to break the line right but if you are looking at getting him i would say that if you are you know really under trying to think will you whether you'll spin or not i do feel that there are cards in the game that can really compete with this guy don't ever pay attention too much to the to the rated the ratings of the cards lads right you know there's no real difference in a card being rated 98 overall or 100 overall or 95 overall and 98 overall or whatever right yeah. the key that you need to understand is that there are certain players in the game that just play better than any other players in the game it's just the way the game is designed they hit certain thresholds on things they have certain archetypes that are going to just be able to be beastly. Pedri is one. Any card of Pedri is amazing. Um, you've got other players that can just do like really good jobs for you on the pitch as well. So I think if you were going to be getting Shevchenko, the only reason would be the same way as you should be buying packs for any of the players. If you actually genuinely want to, you can afford to, and they're favorite players of yours that you want to play with. You know what I mean? But as ever on this channel, and for the whole point of this video, we are going to take a look at an alternative, right? So this is Oshman. Obviously, he needs no introduction. He's only 180,000 GP since the eFootball24 update. He's down as a goal poacher. He has first time shot, aerial superiority, acrobatic finishing, heading, chip shot control, and he also has gamesmanship. Why is gamesmanship important? Well, since the last update, lads, gamesmanship has been very important. Shout out to Terra Hawk for talking about this uh, in his... Um, in the in the live stream the last day um we will be testing this out on our on our live stream again as well today but ashman is just this type of player that he's very similar to shevchenko look at the stats and how they balance up right this is shevchenko here so obviously you've got 93 awareness 90 finishing and 94 acceleration with 77 balance being the main stats right ashi is in a similar position right similar dribbling he's got 85 finishing 90 offensive awareness uh 88 speed 90 acceleration and 72 balance so yes shevchenko is going to be a vastly superior card in every way shape and form but if you are staying free to play i would say that ashi is definitely a goal poaching player that you could use right 
26 levels. They've all also released a new version of Oshiman, um, which I think could be even better. I'm not too sure if it's here. I think this could be it. Yeah, it is. Um, and this is the newer version of Oshiman. As I said, lads, the eFootball DB guys are still working on changing, um, you know, all some of this stuff. They're taking out the team play style. They are working on a lot of different things with it. But this is another card here that if you get him, he's an even better card because you've got that ability to be even faster and be even stronger on the ball. I mean, if you pop 10 or 12, in here you're going to have 91 acceleration similar balance similar offensive awareness the finishing is going to get a similar boost as well um without really much you know um complaining about it or much trying to get the ball into him you're just going to be breaking the lines and i think that that's a fantastic card so if you are going to be spinning for shevchenko i would say make sure he's definitely a player that you want they are going to be releasing more and more epics lads especially at launch they're going to be releasing more and more epics i still think we'll get club packs i still think we'll get a lot of different cards so um let me know what you guys think shevchenko it's brilliant to see him here we also have toddy but that is just kind of a bit of a breakdown on shevchenko um is he worth it there are players in the game that can do a similar job for you that shevchenko will do now in saying that i think shevchenko is going to be a monstrosity of a player in the box when he gets the ball he just has that built in that he's going to be a beast um we will try play a little bit with him as well today but yeah let me know what you guys think are you going to spin or skip and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more peace